Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're looking at the relationship between the graphs of f of x and its derivative. So before we do anything, we're not going to be able to do it in this step. I don't have the ability to show a graphing calculator on this. The glare off of it just makes it so you can't see anything. So I have the graphs on standby and we'll come to those. But first, let's find what f prime of x is, find what the derivative is. So just rewriting f of x equals x to the fourth minus 3x cubed minus 6x squared plus 7x plus 30. So finding the derivative of this, first of all, the derivative of a constant is just 0. So we're going to find the derivative of all these terms, add them all up, whatever. And then we're just going to have a plus 0 on the end, which we don't really need to worry about. So we can just ignore this. Going to these four terms, if we notice that x is just x to the first power, we see that this is four power functions. So we can use our rule that we've learned and find the derivative of each of them. For the first term, what is your coefficient? Well, it's just an imaginary one. Then we multiply that by our exponent times four. And then we have our new exponent is the old one minus one. Next term, coefficient is minus three. Bring down your exponent, new exponent, subtract one. This term, coefficient, bring down the exponent, old exponent, minus one. Coefficient, bring down the exponent, old exponent, minus one. Now this is something we can simplify. Our derivative is equal to four x cubed minus three times three is nine, x to the three minus one is squared, minus 12, x to the one, which is just x, plus seven times x to the zero is just one, so seven times one is just one. So this is going to be the equation of our derivative. Now, if we look at the graphs of f and its derivative, notice how the direction of this graph correlates to the value of its derivative. So we have this section of f, we notice it's decreasing. That correlates with this section of the derivative, where it's negative. Where it goes from decreasing to increasing, our value is zero. And then we have this section here where it's increasing. That correlates to this, where it's positive. Once again, we have a point where it's going from increasing to decreasing, so this is back to zero. This whole stretch where it's negative, which correlates to all this time under the x-axis, where the value is negative, hitting zero once again, or sorry, going from increasing, decreasing to increasing once again, so the value is zero again, and increasing, it's above the x-axis. So that's how you can relate the two graphs, right? So increasing means positive value, decreasing means negative value, going from one to the other means it's at zero. Hope, hope this was helpful. You can do this on your graphing calculator to show that it's the case. Uh, again, this viewing rectangle is what I was basing my graphs off of. I think that's the most helpful for seeing the direction and the behavior of the graph. But anyways, this is your derivative. We can see the relationship between the two graphs. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.